Welcome back to Happy Place Cooking. Today, I'm going to be making, well, shower cookies. But I'm going to do them with a tiny bit of a twist to make them a little bit more fun. I'm going to be using my stand mixer today. I've got three-fourths cup of butter that has been slightly softened. To that, I'm adding three-fourths cup of sugar. And I am going to mix that until it is nice and well blended together. Well, that looks pretty creamy to me. Now I'm going to add in one egg. I'm going to do one teaspoon of vanilla. And a fourth a teaspoon of almond extract. That is purely optional, but I think it'll be good. Now I'm going to mix all that together. Oops, forgot to do that. Now I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And I have two cups of flour. And I'm going to mix that all together. Alright, that looks pretty darn good. Okay, now that I've got my dough all mixed up, I'm going to... Now I'm pretty sure my cookie scoop is probably a little more than a tablespoon. I did go ahead and spray my pan with some uh, olive oil spray because I don't want don't want it to stick even though this is a non-stick supposedly pan. And just put approximately a tablespoon in each one, and I got a feeling I'm putting too much in. These are this recipe is supposed to make like three dozen of these. Now, I'm just going to take my fingers and kind of flatten these out. I've got my oven preheated to 350. These are going to go in for about 10 minutes until they start getting slightly brown on the edges. Very light brown. Don't want them too dark. to sit like this there we go perfect now immediately when these come out you need to poke holes down in them now I'm gonna use my vanilla bottle use the lid I did wash it off be sure you you know if you do this be sure to wash it off completely but you've got to do this immediately because if you don't you won't be able to get them to poke down once they cool I am not really for sure how far down I should poke, but I'm just going to go until it is about the edge of the lid there. That way I have plenty of room to do my filling. Ooh, that one's cracking. See, they're cooling so quickly. That's why you got to do them really quick as soon as they come out of the oven. I got a nice little golden brown around the edge. That's lovely. All right. Now I'm going to let those set there and cool for about five minutes. And then I'm going to move them over to my cooling rack and let them finish cooling. These are nice and cooled. I have got my frosting. I am using this. You could certainly make your own buttercream. And I'm just going to pipe in the center of each one of these 
And hopefully I have enough frosting to do all of them. Just gonna do them like that. And then I have sugars of different colors. Got the green and the red. So I'm gonna do some with green and some with red. Now, are those not the cutest little things you've ever seen? I think those turned out quite lovely. I really like them a lot. I think it's a fun spin on sugar cookies. I think they're just absolutely adorable. Look at that. And you could add more frosting in there if you want. I think that's pretty perfect myself. I am not gonna give these a taste test because I need all of what I make for our gatherings. So, I mean, it's a sugar cookie. It's got frosting in it. It's gotta be good, right? If you uh, have ever made these little mini sugar cookie cups, comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Happy eating.